What's good, guys? Fantasy Joe back with another fantasy football profile, fantasy profile for Derrick Henry. Going to be diving into him and his fantasy outlook for this upcoming season, where I'll be drafting and my stat predictions, all that good stuff. But if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button to stick around. You're going to see all these fantasy profiles. Going to be coming out with an absolute ton of these, covering a ton of players. So uh, stick around, stay tuned. You can watch the ones you like. If there's somebody you feel like you got a real good grasp of, you might not have to watch their video. But, uh, you might want to to see maybe they're a sleeper in my mind. Maybe they're in a void. You want to see, you want to know, stick around, find out, hit that like button, questions or comments. I'll respond as always, all that good stuff. Let's hop right into it. Okay, so Derrick Henry. He has been a top five running back each of the last two seasons. Only three running backs to do that over that time frame, and they are Aaron Jones, Dalvin Cook, and Derrick Henry. Now, the only downside to Derrick Henry, we've seen him rush for over 2,000 yards last year, absolutely dominate. But over the last two seasons, he's got combined 37 passes. That is the downside. You're going to get a little bit less consistency out of Derrick Henry because uh, he doesn't catch the passes, doesn't give you any of that half PPR bump that a lot of these other players give you when they're catching a few passes a game. Getting yards, getting those receptions really helps even out your consistency a little bit more. But Derrick Henry is absolutely going to give you those colossal blow-up games where he goes out there, rushes for two bills, runs in two touchdowns, and he's, you know, you're going to be very happy to have him on your fantasy team for all of those games. So just expect a little bit more inconsistency, I guess, when it comes to Derrick Henry. But he's still a top five back easily in my mind, and he's a guy who's going to get the, the ball, the rock, put into his stomach a ton of times every game. We saw 378 carries in 2020 when he rushed for over 2,000 yards. Looking forward to 2021, adding another game, adding Taylor Lewan back to the offensive line. Could he potentially break the rushing record? Who knows? Maybe. Uh, we saw him in, in 2019 have 303 carries as well. Last year in half-point PPR leagues, he finishes the RB2. In 2019, he finishes the RB3. So I think people are sure. I don't think expect Derrick Henry to rush for 2,000 yards like he did last year. But at the same time, why are, is everyone just running away from Derrick Henry when he's finished his RB2 and RB3, respectively, each of the last two years? That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, I think people are pushing Derrick Henry a little too far. I'm definitely taking Derrick Henry over Saquon Barkley just because the offense, honestly. I am scared to draft a back like Saquon coming off a major ACL injury when his surgery wasn't later in the season. And uh, we... We've seen how bad that offensive line and offense has been recently. So players like that scare me away a little bit. And players like Derrick Henry, I just know how consistent they're going to be. My bad prediction for this upcoming season, I think he'll rush for at least 1,600 yards and 16 total touchdowns. We've seen him in an absolute touchdown monster over the last two years, running in more than 15 touchdowns each of those seasons. I think he had 17 last year, 16 in 2019 rushing. Um, so he gets to the end zone in a ton of times. And that's why I've have no real qualms with drafting Derrick Henry really above anybody. Even if you want to take him above Dalvin Cook, I wouldn't do it personally, but I have no problem drafting Derrick Henry at the three overall spot. I think he's a great player and a great would be a great addition to anyone's fantasy team. If you guys made it to this point in the video, please hit that subscribe button to stick around for more of these videos. Hit that like button. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. I'm going to respond as always. This is Fancy Joe signing off.